that the point that was being made in relation to Jeremy Corbyn is that um, at least he's going to open up dialogue as opposed to just putting your head in the sand. And I think there's a really strong distinction that needs to be made in terms of principally opposing something and then that formal Section 30 order. OK, just to explain, a Section 30 order is the way in which the UK would give Holyrood the power to have another independence referendum if it so chose. Are you against giving that power? I will answer that very directly in a second, but there's a point to make just before we get to the details of that. And that's why we're in the situation where we're even contemplating a second referendum at all. Now, I'm spending every day at the moment speaking to people on their doorsteps across the country. And I am astonished by the number of people who are genuinely angry that we are being asked to develop and go back to these arguments of the past again. We were told it was a once in a lifetime, once in a generation opportunity, and we're barely two and a half years later on. Nicola Sturgeon's justification for trying to argue for a second referendum is Brexit. She'll say everything's changed because of the result of the European Union referendum. OK, and the direct answer but, you but promised? The problem, well, this is really important, Glenn, because we're not spending enough time in this campaign talking about this. Well, I'm just trying there, to get you to address the question that was asked, which was about the transfer of the power well, for I don't an think there should be a second independence referendum. Yes, but would you oppose transferring no, the power? Glenn, you've got to give me more than five seconds to make the point, because there are now three different positions the SNP have on Europe. So if they're saying their justification for a second independence referendum is Europe, but they can't then tell you how an independent Scotland would be in Europe or would be out of Europe or have a relationship like uh, Norway does with the yeah. European Union. I understand that you're no against independence, and I, I understand that if we were having another referendum, we would be having a debate about the merits or otherwise of independence. But today, the questioner is asking about the transfer of the power. Does Labour would Labour block the transfer of the power? We've said that we wouldn't even countenance any form of a second independence referendum until the conclusion of the, the Brexit negotiations, because it's only at that point... So you point might consider it then? No, Glenn. We are against independence and a second independence referendum. I'm trying to ask... Well, why is it that Jeremy Carbyn question. says that he would support the will of the Scottish Parliament and you, a member of the Scottish Parliament, won't? I don't know how many times I can say to you the detail of our policy on this is in the manifesto. It says we don't agree with a second independence right. referendum. But no, the, the, the guy didn't get the answer to the Section 30 question. If we're at the point of we're having a vote over Section 30, that means that there's been a negotiation already between the Scottish Government and the UK Government, an acceptance that the referendum's going to happen, a franchise agreed, a question agreed. We are so far away from that. I don't want to countenance that because I'm still in the business of trying to stop a second independence referendum full stop because the people of Scotland time and time again tell me they don't want it. People who voted both yes and no want to leave those arguments of the past behind us okay. and get on with the day job of fixing our schools and our hospitals, which is long I overdue. I, okay. I, I, I take that on board, but you haven't answered the question, to be fair. Um, I believe you said in other forums in relation to this that you believe it shouldn't be blocked by Westminster. Um, so I don't believe you've answered the question directly. Well, both myself and Ruth Davidson, actually, the leader of the Scottish Tories, have said if it was to get that far where you're in the position of having a Section 30 order, you'd agreed there was going to be a referendum, there'd been a negotiation between two governments, of course you would be talking about a different situation with regards to you blocking it. You wouldn't block it. it. Can you can't be just that. You're well, asking I can it's ask a, a straight question. And, and it's not a straight to... question, though, because you don't even know what the independence question would be, who the franchises, the, the level of that negotiation. But in it's principle. Not, but it's not about the oh, principle, right. it's okay, about the detail. You have to if we're be not going to so get any further on it, we'll move on to another question.